In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the rotation tool in Flash. I'm going to start by creating a ball that I'm going to have rotate. I'm going to have it rotate in a couple of different ways. I'm going to use my oval tool. I'm going to hold the shift key down. And I'm going to put my ball on the stage. It's different colors so you can see the rotation. I'm going to convert this ball to a symbol by double clicking on it. Lots of little white dots to show that it's selected. Right clicking, selecting convert to symbol. F8 is your alternative for that. And giving it a name. Since this is going to be a graphic symbol, I'm going to call it GR ball and I'm going to hit OK. Now the easiest way to create a rotation, and I'm going to show you this both in the classic tween and in a motion tween, but I'm going to put in a keyframe here which would be F6 or right click and insert keyframe and then I'm going to insert a classic tween. Once I have a classic tween, I can tell it to rotate clockwise or counterclockwise. And right now, I would have it rotating once during the timeline, which would be very slow. I'm going to hit Command Enter because I'm on a Mac, Control Enter on a PC, and I have a very slowly rotating ball. To make it go faster, I change it to 18 times and it rotates very fast. Now I can have it change along its path. It does not need to sit still and rotate. So I can use my free transform tool, make it a little bit smaller. Have it start here, have it end here, and it will rotate while going across that path. Again, testing, and the ball rotates as it moves. It's going to rotate around this center point. So if I want it to rotate in a circle around something else, I can move the center point out. I'm going to go into View, Rulers, and because I want the center point to be exactly the same, I'm going to click and drag a line from each of my rulers select my object and make sure that my center point is right there in the center of the rulers. Now in the first frame, I'm also going to drag my center point. This is going to have an interesting result. It's going haywire. It's because my stage is too small for you to really see it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to change the stage size and we'll make it 800 by 800. I'm going to zoom out 50%. Test it and you can see it's traveling in a circle. If I make the rotation slower, that's way too fast for the effect. I have a ball spinning around a center point, which can be a very useful effect. So, th so those are multiple uses of the rotation effect.